What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Yeah, I know it's the same day that we did the video with the BMW, but I got to make a video for another day. And the first thing we're going to do to this Honda, which is what today's video is about, is we're going to fix the maintenance required light. The maintenance required light, if I am correct, is on for the oil change. Okay, now you see that orange light right there? That orange light says maintenance required. Now you come over here to the beautiful Altel Maxisys Elite and we can do an oil reset with the tool. Now it may want the car to be turned off, not running. I, I don't know. I've got the car running right now because I just put a new battery in it. I want to make sure the battery is nice and fully charged up. And hopefully it doesn't come back and say, no, you can't do this because maybe we are not supposed to have the car running. Truthfully, I, I don't know. So let's, let's set this to the side here. Normally when you're using this, uh, typically, you're going to want to have it turned off. This function is not supported. Oh, womp, 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 womp. Okay, so there is a second option here that says reset without tools. So let's click it. It says turn off engine. All right. Press and hold the select reset button in the instrument panel. Then turn the ignition switch on. Hold the reset button for at least 10 seconds until the indicator resets so i'm going to put the key in and i'm assuming this is the reset indicator button right here okay so i don't know how i'm going to do this uh with with with, <laughs> with uh holding the camera here but okay let, let me see if i can do this okay so here we go the button is pushed i'm going to turn the switch on and that reset light should apparently reset itself it should turn off and when it does we're done unfortunately my tool couldn't do it there we go that's it how about that let's turn the key back off all right see so even though uh resetting the oil reset light was not an option that the tool could do for you it at least was able to explain clearly how you do it so we'll fire it up now and we should have no lights on the dash at all look at that Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, the next thing I had a lot of people tell me is that I was checking the transmission fluid improperly. I'm used to leaving the car running on a Honda. That's not how you do it. So why don't we go ahead and knock that out real quick. So after it's warmed up and it's up to normal operating temperature, apparently you're supposed to, let's, let's make sure the hood is popped. Okay. Hood is popped. You're supposed to shut the car off run out under the hood and check the dipstick with the car not running. So let's do that right now. Now this engine is pretty dirty. So one of the things we'll be handling in this video is actually cleaning, degreasing this motor with a pressure washer. So the transmission dipstick is way down here. We'll get it out. Let's wipe it with a towel. Okay, you can see it's nice and clean. Let's put it back in and let's see where it's at. I made sure I pushed it down all the way. Oh. Oh. Could that be our problem? It's not registering any transmission <laughs> fluid on the dipstick. I'm I'm gonna just I'm just gonna throw this guess out here, guys, that this may be the problem. <laughs> the car it was simply low on transmission fluid i gotta give a, a big shout out to all of you that saw the video of this car and you watched me check the the transmission fluid improperly and you called me out on it and not just called me out on it but explained to me what i needed to do i had no idea hondas were that way with most cars i'm used to leaving the engine running pulling the dipstick after it's up to operating temperature and checking it you wipe it off plug it back in pull it out and there you go so when you do that on a honda or an acura it appears that the transmission fluid is full but in reality, you've got to sh get it up to operating temperature, shut the ignition off, run out, check the dipstick, wipe it off, plug it back in, pull it out, and then you'll get an accurate reading. So now that we know, we just got to go find some genuine Honda transmission fluid or some like Castrol, uh, uh, what would they call this, uh, Japanese or, or something. They have a specific type of fluid for this. We'll go get some fluid, put it in, and uh, we got to clean this engine up, guys because this is really bad. This is really disgusting. Got to get this motor cleaned up. That'll help sell it. I ordered a pair of brand new headlights for this car because these, as you can see, this is broken on the inside and it's broken right here as well. So that's just, it, that's no good. We're going to put a brand new set of headlights on it. We're going to get this thing washed, get all the writing off the windshield, get the tires and the wheels cleaned up, wipe down the interior, 
and man, now, now that we've got it figured out, there will be a properly shifting transmission. The car will look relatively decent with a good bath. I also ordered the window regulator. We'll probably not be able to cover that in this video because I'm waiting on parts to ship and I don't even know if anybody's gonna be open that's gonna be able to do that. But we will get the thing as clean up as possible in this video. We'll get these headlights switched out in this video and we already reset the oil light in the video and we figured out what was wrong with the transmission in this video. So I say so far, we're on a winning streak. Unfortunately, because the sun has set and it is getting dark, um, we're not gonna be able to continue tonight. So we're gonna pick this up tomorrow afternoon. So it is a brand new day and we have a car to clean. I also have headlights to do on this. I'm gonna replace them. I don't know if I'll get to that in this video or not. We got the window regulator uh, in the mail. So we gotta take that down and get that installed. That is something I'm just not gonna do myself. Um, but here you go. So you can get one last look at how dirty she is. We're also going to clean the engine bay. This car is just filthy. Now the inside is actually pretty clean. It needs a vacuuming and a quick wipe down. But aside from that, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. She just needs a real good cleaning. And under the hood though, man, like under the hood is just, it's filthy. She's real nasty. You can see all the oil and grime and stuff under here. We're gonna get that all off, get it cleaned up. I'm going to cover up the distributor because you and I both know if we get that distributor wet, it's gonna be a real P-I-T-A. So let's start with getting this engine degreased, then we can start cleaning up the body.
right, we're gonna take a quick look at how it looks now that half of it has had a bath and half of it has not. So it didn't clean up as well as I'd hoped. There's all kinds of, I don't know what these marks are. And that's, ugh, that's some sticky residue I'll have to work on. Um, it's definitely got scrapes and dings. The wheels came out all right, I think. Give you a little bit of close up. Overall though, not too bad. And as the sun was starting to come out now, looks like the weather is getting nasty on me again. And you could quickly see how we transitioned. I did hit this, although I haven't washed this yet. You could see how, just how nasty. Um, and hopefully you could see the difference between here and here. Now going over to this side of the car, taking a look at it, it's just, it's disgusting guys. I mean, look at this, look at the wheels. It's, it's absolutely, absolutely nasty. So I think, although we're not gonna bring this car back to perfection, I still think it's worth giving it a bath. A clean car will sell faster than a dirty car, guys. So I'm gonna finish up the other side and uh, then we can get cleaning up the interior and we'll take a look at how that engine bay came out after it's had some time to uh, heat up and dry. Okay, it's time to see how she actually came out. Like I said earlier, it's not going to come out perfect. The goal is just to make it look good. Now, I know that tape on the window is, is really bad. We're going to get that taken care of because we do have the new regulator in hand, ready to go. Hey, it cleaned up good enough. That's all I'm going to say. That's my opinion. You guys can comment yours below. I think, I think she cleaned up good enough that we can sell it and make a decent profit. Now keep in mind, we do have the new headlights, so that we're gonna be putting brand new headlights in there. That's gonna make it look a lot better. Let's pop the hood. Let's see what she's looking like under here now that she's had time to sit here and run for a while. Oh man, that is a thousand times better than what it was when we first got started, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Tell me that is not beautiful. She's had time to sit here and warm up. Look, look at this. What is this? VTEC, baby. Yeah. That looks so much better, guys. <laughs> look, there's the solenoids on the transmission. Like, you can see the tag on the transmission down there. It's got good pressure on the cooling system looking good man looking good put those new headlights in and uh give the interior just a quick wipe down it doesn't really need much a quick vacuum quick wipe down with a rag this thing should be good to go i don't remember what was in the trunk i don't even remember if we ever checked the trunk oh there's nothing back here looks like there i've got the spare tire tool yeah, it's got a spare. The tool I actually have in the truck because I used that tool on another car, on the Cobalt, actually. I used it on the Cobalt. So I'll have to remember to bring that back. There she is, guys. Comment below. Tell me what you think. So that is going to wrap it up for the Honda Accord. At this point, we are going to send it down to Weird Beard. He's going to handle replacing the headlights, and he's also going to handle replacing the regulator uh, slash motor in that passenger window. Now, normally I send it down to Los Primos Auto Glass out here, and they handle that stuff for me, but you know what? Mike is like an ace at everything that he touches, man. It all turns to gold, so I was like, why bother sending it there? Um, he's going to take it as is, and he's going to make the video content. Hopefully, I don't, I don't want to say that. Hopefully he's gonna make some video content of replacing that motor and regulator. The car is his problem now, so I'm gonna bring it to, to him. Hopefully tomorrow he's gonna to pay me for it. At that point, he's gonna sell it. Hopefully he can make a few dollars on it too because you know, I try to do the best I can with, uh, I say this all the time, but it's not just money, but it's also the amount of time that I need to be focusing on each one of these cars to maximize my productivity and my profitability as well. So I have to really try to balance how much I do to each car, how much I spend on each car to keep myself as productive as possible. So with that said, I feel like the time it's gonna take me to take the Honda all the way up to Los Primos Auto Glass, sit there and wait for him to replace everything, or it's just, it's not worth it. The car is going down to Weird Beard anyway. He's more than capable, more than qualified. So check out Weird Beard on YouTube because that Honda is going down to him 
you'll be seeing it hopefully on his channel in the very near future and hopefully you can make some money off of it you know what i mean that is going to be it for this video if you enjoyed the content please give the video a big thumbs up you can share this video with your friends it truly does help to support the channel thank you to all my members of tier one truly appreciate you guys as well you can join for a dollar 99 a month down at that join button below hope you're all happy and healthy and i hope we can all get through this situation going around together and we'll make it out of this just fine guys until next time stay safe out there i will catch you all very soon in the next one